Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on Finding Cat, and this is episode number two, and this episode is brought to you by my free 31 day gratitude challenge. So if you have been feeling super duper stressed and more reactive than ever, low key like the world is conspiring against you, and you want a more positive and abundant mindset, then click the link in my bio to subscribe and join this amazing challenge. So today's episode is about five key steps to set up boundaries and to stick with them. So I just learned about boundaries this year. So if this is new to you, that is perfectly fine because it took me 19 years to figure out what boundaries were and to figure out that it's okay to say no to people. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but like, I just never thought it was okay to say no to people. I just always felt so bad saying no to people. And that was one of the reasons i overworked myself so much is because managers would be like hey can you do this and i'd be like yeah of course or hey can you pick up the ship sure hey can you do this yeah like (laughs) i was being pulled from side to side i literally one time had a manager be like um i had to go to a shift at another job right and i was kind of complaining about it and they were like i will give you 50 extra dollars like he a bonus right if i stayed and worked no freaking joke he was gonna pay me more to stay and work than i was gonna get paid at my other job and i was just going for the flow i felt so bad when like a manager is talking to me face to face saying like hey like to be honest i'm not feeling so well i don't want to do that blah, blah blah i was always like yes 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 i was I was the yes person and it caused a lot of harm to me to be honest like like today i was i was really thinking about it like wow like i really allowed people to disrespect me like i really did like i really did not take care of myself and i kind of hate myself for it sometimes that it's like yo like how didn't you not know like why didn't you guess this already like why did you do this to yourself do you not love yourself like how can you love yourself if you don't respect yourself like think of that how can you love yourself if you don't respect your boundaries how is someone supposed to love you if they don't respect you and i just don't think i was respected by the amount of people that were in my life at the time um and i don't blame them i I blame myself completely because it's like the quote how can you expect people to love you if you don't love yourself how can you expect people to respect you if you don't respect yourself now of course we all know how to respect a person but everyone has different boundaries you get what i'm saying so someone can respect me as general as they can as they respect everyone else but if i'm not respecting myself they know that they can step a little farther like they can they can cross um certain lines that they can't cross with others and that's what ended up really happening and i can hate myself for it every day but i try to choose not to and i try to understand like hey i was growing i did not know i'm learning i'm grateful that i learned now because there's some people who are older than me who don't even know how to uh set up boundaries and how to stick to them and that i think it's a very important thing that everyone should know from young to old everyone should know boundaries and respect and you may be asking like what is so good about boundaries if you really don't know like it's guidelines of how you want to be treated it ensures that each relationship that you have will be respectful and appropriate and that there is mutual respect and anyone you're getting too close to you're gonna know if they don't have your best interest if you have boundaries there are so many people i let into my life that did not have my best interest but i thought they cared about me sometimes i thought they even loved me but it's not my fault it's not it's no one's fault everyone learns things at different times and i ended up learning it now and i'm grateful i learned it now and that's why i'm here to speak about them so my first step on how to uh, set up boundaries and stick to them is learn about yourself and why i say this is how the hell are you supposed to know what you don't like if you don't know about yourself it's simple it's a simple simple step learn about yourself 
and a way to do this is i was reading about it and it's called a five thing method and you would write five things you like people to stop doing around you five things you want people to stop doing to you and five things you no longer want people to say to you and writing these five things down you'll kind of know the basis of where you stand in your boundaries and learning about yourself will allow you to know your limits which is the second step to set up boundaries and to stick to them is know your limits knowing your limits like knowing your limits you will know when to say stop like you will know when to be like oh this person crossed that like you will know and that's great because knowing your limits allows you to understand the situation and know that this situation is not good and that is great that is amazing you need to know your limits you need to know when you are crossed you need to know when someone steps over your boundaries and if you're not sure of how that looks like you can in a way tell how you you can in a way tell by how you feel like are you feeling kind of confused in the situation is your anxiety creeping up do you kind of feel drained by that person like really think about those aspects of knowing did this person really just like step my boundaries like especially in relationships like when you're in a relationship you get so comfortable with someone and sometimes someone can step over your boundaries or your significant other can step over your boundaries and you're sitting here like did they just do that like like what like like now i have to think about it so it's like i don't like when people um i don't like when people raise their voice at me I don't like when people, when we're we're having a argument and I'm having someone raise their voice at me because I'm, you don't need to raise your voice at me for me to listen. I'm going to listen to you no matter what. So when someone raises their voice at me, I get, I like shut down and I know that is a limit that is crossed and it can be, your limits can be crossed in a physical way an emotional way or even a psychological way so you have to pay attention how you feel you have to pay attention regain how you feel and if you can't and right now in that situation you can't explain um to the person just know how you felt in that situation and bring it up later it's okay to bring something up the next day or when you feel ready to it's all about you when you feel ready to bring up something bring it up be like hey to be honest i really didn't like how you raised your voice at me because i was listening to you throughout the whole thing you did not have to raise your voice at me and i may not tell them that in the same day of the argument but i may tell them a little bit later or the next day where we can have a conversation and it's not a heated convo like yesterday and when you know your limits you need to stick to them now here's where the problems kind of stems from is that people will have limits and people will have their boundaries set up but they don't stick to them they do not stick to them and that still allows people to cross over your boundaries so i could have sat here and said you know what? i feel uncomfortable when this person screams at me correct but i'm not gonna tell them and then that allows them to keep screaming at me and what's gonna end up happening their energy is gonna go into me and then i'm gonna start raising my voice so then i in the end start hurting myself because i didn't tell this person how i felt does that make sense so stick to your boundaries say no oh my god if i told my managers no every time they asked me to do something that i just did not want to do i probably would be happier to be honest like i would have not been so stressed at work because i would have said like hey no i don't want to pick up that shift or no i can't i have this to do i was going to school to become a licensed esthetician and i was also working a two to three jobs so when people ask me to pick up shifts you would think that i would be like no i have school tomorrow or um no i gotta study but no i did not do that i said yes 
I was always saying yes. I was the yes sir person, like, and it was bad. It really was bad. Like, I, I wish I stood up. I wish I stood up for myself back then, but I, it, I didn't, and I learned. I learned. <laughs> um, saying no is is a okay. Like, it literally is okay because not saying no allows you to be taken for granted and even damaged like say no stick to your boundaries like i didn't say no because i never wanted to sound mean and i was not caring for myself i really wasn't so say no stick up for yourself and if the person doesn't listen to you set consequences and that is my fourth point on how to set up boundaries and to stick to them is setting consequences let them know when they cross the line and let them know they ain't gonna do it again that's it simple set consequences because if you don't set the consequences they're gonna keep going and they're gonna keep trying it's like in a way a little kid um <laughs> You know, like when a little kid does something and you tell them, no, don't do that, right? And then they're kind of like, did this person really tell me no? I'm going to do it again. You know what I'm saying? They're kids, right? Adults should listen to no once and take it as no, but some adults don't. So say no and set consequences. And those four things are how to set up boundaries and to stick to them now. We are always growing, we are always changing. The boundaries I have for myself right now are gonna be different than the boundaries I have for myself when I'm 25, which will be different when I'm 30, which will be different when I'm older. Um, your boundaries change. Um, and that's why you need to revisit them. And that is my fifth and final step on how to set up boundaries and to stick to them, is revisiting those boundaries. We are always changing, we are always growing, and that is an amazing, beautiful thing. It's growing is such an amazing thing. When people sit here and say, oh, you've changed. It's like, yeah, like, thank you. Like, I I expect it to change. Like, I want to change. Like, I'm growing. Am I supposed to stay in the same place forever? Like, shit. <laughs> so don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to set more boundaries with someone or uh, to set harsher boundaries for someone or to lean away on certain boundaries with someone like the boundaries that you set up with your mom are going to be different than the boundaries you set up with your boyfriend or girlfriend which will be different than the boundaries you set up with your best friend it's all about what boundaries you want with that person what rules do you want to set with that person of hey like this is how i want to be treated revisiting those boundaries are a-okay and um i looked some questions up that you can ask yourself when you revisit these boundaries. So these questions are, how much attention do people expect from you? Do you always make yourself available? How much praise and acceptance do you receive? Has anything changed? How do you feel after spending time with each person? So a great thing, um, if you have like a few people in your life, um, write boundaries for those people in your life like set those boundaries up or at least have them there have general boundaries and boundaries you have for a certain person in your life and go back to them boundaries are such an amazing thing to set up and it's self-love boundaries are self-love you want the person to respect you you need to set up boundaries so to just revisit everything my five key steps to set up boundaries and to stick with them is Learn about yourself, know your limits, stick to your boundaries, set consequences, and revisit those boundaries. So to wrap it all up, I'm super grateful for you listening to this episode and to future episodes. I hope to help you resolve those everyday burdens by helping you unify your mind, body, and spirit to reach true well-being. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment if you loved my energy and if I helped you in any way, shape, or form because I would love to know. And always remember, you got this, you are amazing, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next episode. See you soon.